another lovely sunny day in London. We're nearly summertime. Are you looking forward to uh, summer in the capital, Caprice? Cannot wait. Cannot wait. What's, this, what's your favourite um, summertime uh, days out in London when you're uh, in town? Oh, what do we do? You know what's really nice is kind of sort of a day out in the park with the chihuahuas and then maybe hit, come over to Mayfair Hotel, have a bit of lunch, then um, maybe go back to the park again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah. And this is, I know, this is one of your, your favourite places to stay. What do you like? What's the, uh, what's the big selling points of the Mayfair for you? What makes you choose this? Of all the hotels in London, which of course there's many, uh, what, why is this the, uh, the number one for you? Well, I think, well, I mean, the location and the rooms are, are beautiful. I mean, look at this suite. It's unbelievable. Um, a lot of my mates come here, so it's a great place to kind of see people. And uh, the food is great. The bar is great. It's, I think it's the whole package, really. Of course, we've got big times for London coming up. We've got the, um, the Olympics coming soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, the big one this year, though, is the Royal Wedding. Are you going to be watching that? Are you going? Actually, I'm going to be in Vegas. Oh, My right. girlfriend's getting married the same weekend, so I'll be in Vegas at a, at a big wedding out there for 700 people. Wow, a Vegas mm. wedding. So it's not one of those little church ones, not one of those little no, Elvis ones. No, it's not the Vegas. Yeah, I mean, it's not the Elvis thing, no. This is... <laughs> How long have you? Uh, how long have you lived in um, in London? Are you more? Are you more? Do you consider yourself more British or American now? No, I'm definitely more English. Uh, I've been here 15 years. Wow! And how did you first come to be here? Well, I, I started out modelling, and and usually you come over to Europe, and I decided to be a bigger fish in a smaller pond, so I came over here to England. At the time, it wasn't as ginormous in the modelling world as as it is now, um, and things just went really, really well, and I started to make up lot of money and so I said forget America I'm coming to England people still probably know you but if you say that Caprice people probably still imagine you mainly just as a model but mm -hmm. actually you spend less time modeling now more time being a super high-powered businesswoman woman yeah. jetting around the world you? tell us about your business yeah it you know what as a model you have to accept reality and reality is you get into your 30s and you're way over the hill so you have to think okay what's next and so I thought well I want to make underwear and so that's essentially what I did. And from that point on, this was six years ago, I started by Caprice Lingerie. From that point on, I now have swimwear, I have occasion wear, I have sleepwear. I just launched bedding. And, um, and it's going to keep on going as long as people buy it. Would you say you're workaholic? Would I say? I yeah, know I'm a workaholic. Yeah, I know you're workaholic. <laughs> you're just not off. You know, you're on all the time, even when you're on holiday. But you know what it is? When you're spending a lot, a lot of your own money, then you become a workaholic and you get involved. Otherwise, you lose money. How much of uh, how much travelling is involved? You seem to be aware. Of. Tell, take us through this year. Since what are we now? Uh, at near the end of April. How many uh, how many countries have you visited? How many uh, how many plane trips have there been? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I'm travelling more now than I did in my modelling days. Way more. I would say I'm definitely on a plane every week or every other week. I mean, it's pretty demanding, but it's great. I love my life. And the, uh, the, um, uh, the business and the lingerie and everything, is mm -hmm. under, it's called Buy Capri, is that right? Mm -hmm. And where, uh, where can people, where do people go? Uh, well, you could, buy, you could buy at Littlewoods, ASOS, going into Next, Fig Leafs. Um, we're in 70 Independents. Uh, did I say Littlewoods? Very. Gosh, I mean, you know, we've done... We've done really well, mm -hmm. thank goodness. And what are the plans, any other plans or expansion? What are your main goals for 2011 now that we're almost halfway into it? Is it going, is it a good year so far? Oh, so far it's been a great year. We've, um, I have, I've been taking on a lot of new people internally within the office and we're just taking on a whole bunch of more accounts and now we're going internationally. So it's all about the business and maybe tuck back into the entertainment world again because I've been, that's been kind of a backseat. But um, now maybe go forward again because I miss it. Okay. Mm. Well, we look forward to seeing you having on some of your rare time off when you're not jetting around the world. I think really being a spy or something or running the country. I don't know what it's <laughs> doing. Honestly, it's unbelievable. David Cameron isn't, isn't as busy. Uh, well, hopefully we'll see you uh, many more times in the Maker. Yeah.